her boyfriend's cousin is and she what? is now showing our podcast. No. What? Here is a picture of him oh, and <gasps> Are you kidding me? What? I know. What? <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. Wow. That's I... like a big celebrity. Big. 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 I'm sure. Hey, welcome back to <laughs> whatever the hell this is. We took a time machine and went three years ago to when Animal Crossing was relevant. Oh, nice. I just heard about it. Everyone that's still playing. No, listen, I love Animal Crossing. I'm just saying this is very late. But um, thank you, Simitera, for this idea. We love it. It's a little traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> to Isabel Ooh. fans, but we're trying not to... Um... To Isabel fans or to you? Because this was the darkest point of your life. What? Animal Crossing. Oh, I thought you meant me doing your makeup. Oh, that, that was, was the dark. darkest part of my life. I took some behind the scenes of that because it was such a fucking disaster. The makeup I got was not working. And um, it was just like I was putting mustard all over your face. <laughs> We've got to make it work. Make it work. You still didn't see it. No. No, it's good. I'll have a mirror. I'm ready to show you. You're right. ready right now? Well, let's take a second. Before <laughs> we get into the big reveal and um, all of this, and oh, you look so cute. Thank you. Bug catcher. I like don't even know anybody here except for Tom Nook. Do you guys even know what Animal Crossing is? Uh, I do from you telling me about it, <laughs> you know, but right. as far as I know, I'm KK Slider. Iconic. Yes. Uh, but I have no idea who everybody else yes. is. I don't know who anyone is either. I've really? never played. I, I only feel know like from that you. game is for you. Really? Yes, because you like like making little things and like you can make your little thing. You can have wear a rainbow gay flag all the time. I mean, I mean. You can chase big old fatties. <laughs> you look like it's you hunt game. bears. Yes. Oh, he's going to need a bigger net. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. So I'm Tom Nook, obviously, but we'll get to this in a minute. First, I got an email from Morgan. Uh, not your sister, Morgan, oh. but that'd be weird if she emailed me. <laughs> uh, but from viewer Morgan. And she said, guys, you have to try crayon.com, which is crayon, but it's spelled crayon, like, because there's an AI in the middle, because it's AI. Very scary. Um, AI is horrifying. It's going to kill all of us and ruin the world, but I thought it would be fun to try it out. So basically what it is, is you go to this website and you type in anything you want and it will create pictures of that thing. Like for example, somebody typed in beans coming out of a cash machine and what? it created that. No way. Wow. Isn't that crazy? And then somebody typed in um, soldiers, delicious. I know, soldiers taking over a bouncy castle and it created terrifying. that. So you, we can type in anything we want and it takes like a minute per picture. So I'm thinking let's give all of our crazy ideas and then while that's processing, we'll do the show and then at the end of the show, we'll have a big reveal of our AIs. Let's do it. <laughs> Nobody cares. Gay bear pillow. Fight. No, I'm okay. just already thinking. What am I doing? What yeah, am I, see, I, see, I see. putting in? Okay. Um, okay. So let's start with Chris since he has one. Uh, so we're gonna put in gay bear pillow fight. Pillow fight. Yes. Do you want to add something like covered in honey? Sure. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. I want to do Tom Nook skull fucking Isabel. Are you trying to get demonetized? <laughs> it kind of looks like that just happened. <laughs> Yeah, Riley. <laughs> I was li I was thinking of the turn to explain you right now. Just skull got skull fuck. fucked. Makes yes. sense. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, give me a mirror so I can see it. Okay, kind of looks like a Simpson juggalo. Yes. Oh my God, juggalos. <laughs> I don't know what this was. I'm, I want to do a giraffe in a tuxedo with braces. That is so cute. That's really cute. That's what I want to see. That's gonna be art. Rylan? Mine was going to be Tom Nook in real life. Well, do you have any other ideas? You can do anything like Hillary Duff and Rylan Adams kissing. Oh my gosh, that. <laughs> okay, Hillary wow. Duff and Rylan Adams kissing. That's like That's cute. my ninth grade I want fantasy. the giraffe to be a heroin addict too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love I'm just that, kidding. I, no, I... Really? Because I think that's fine. Well, I, is there funnier drugs he could be addicted to? Oh, maybe like less serious ones. Addicted to like computer huffing, like the spray. Dust off, yeah. Let's make him addicted to dust off. That'd be great. Okay. <laughs> um, so while those are processing, <laughs> we're going to reveal those at the end of the show. End of the show? We have to wait that long? Yeah. Damn, I wish I could scroll. <laughs> Don't give people ideas. So speaking of big reveals, are you ready, Rylan, to see your Isabel transformation? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw you this mirror. Oh, okay. God. Don't break it. We don't need that luck. That would be so bad. <laughs> I'm very curious on what the chuck technique is going to be here. Ah! Ooh, okay. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Cindy Lou who gone wrong. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think it's good. I mean, it's good. It's not Isabel, but it's good. I, think I feel is. like I'm in like some fetish porn. Wow. Honestly... 
pretty good. Thank you. You sure about that? Watch it looks the bangs are mm. so rough. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing that I realized. So I did this because I wanted you to look like I can't even look at you. I wanted you to look like Isabel. <laughs> um, and then you know what just arrived? <clears throat> I got you an Isabel head. So that would have been so uh, much easier. <laughs> oh my <laughs> This looks so much better. I'm so tired through all that makeup now. But this is worth it. Honestly, yeah. listen, I'm not just saying this. If you like did a like masturbation video <laughs> or any sort of sexual thing as Isabel, you would make so much money right now. Okay. I feel like everybody, you get make so many bells. <laughs> have you seen that like Winnie the Pooh horror movie? I have not seen it, but I've heard of it. So Winnie I feel the like Pooh, this Blood is like honey. the Isabel horror. <laughs> it does look very like Harley Quinn. Ooh. You know, or like Suicide Squad. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm into it. It's very cool, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you won. Um, so Jared's here. character has a ukulele? Yeah, yep. so Jared is when you win the game, KK Slider comes to town and plays for everybody naked. <laughs> what? That part is weird. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he sings like... <laughs> have, have any of them become like hits? Are people like up to the songs? Hits. Yes. Of course, of course. They're all hits. I'm being <laughs> modest. I'm Actually, being humble. Uh, oh, and yeah, in the game, you can catch bugs and sell them. So that's what you're doing. Yeah, you're selling your bugs. Cute. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> um, okay, so life updates. I feel like we haven't like had a life update in a minute, and I feel like a lot of stuff has been happening. I'm sure we'll talk about it in different videos in different ways. But um, yeah, this was crazy. This week was crazy. We flew to Seattle and we met with our surrogate again. We've already met her and hung out with her and stuff. So we were in Seattle and we went for the first ultrasound and we didn't know if it was going to be twins or not because we were, you know, fingers crossed. We well, put in two baby boys, one of each of our sperms and the same egg donor. And it was crazy. We walk in to the lobby and we're like nervous. We're excited. And we're like, praying about it we're like okay we really want it to be twins but also if it's not it's what god wanted and it, you know we're trying to be positive either way and i was kind of praying like i want a sign like give me a sign we're in the lobby and the first song that started playing when we got to the lobby was that song just the two of us so crazy if we try. Uh, and it was crazy i was nuts. like this is crazy i almost started crying and the surrogate's like what's wrong and i'm like i don't know i'm emotional <laughs> and then we went into the room went through the whole thing they put the camera and two babies! No! Yes! Whoa. Two little blueberries! It's twins! Twins! And, hip then hip. Showed, and then they showed us the heartbeats, and it was so crazy. Like, wait, hold on. Let me play you guys a heartbeat. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my the heartbeat god. reveal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it was so. Twins? I mean, I would say best day of our my whole life. What? Crazy. Crazy? I feel we oh, got you. So do you do their heartbeats what? at the same exact time, or do, are you able so, to like isolate the heartbeats? Yeah. Wow. So that's baby B. And they're like two little blueberries. They're so cute. Oh so yeah, it's God. crazy. And we're having kids and it, we think it'll be end of December. Shane, right? I know they could, li they could literally be like Christmas babies. I guess we shouldn't have done this like this. Cause yeah, looking at you while we're talking. About <laughs> <laughs> and now my, I don't know what's happening with my Tom oh, Nook head, but it's a nightmare. I had never once been nervous until after it was like, oh yeah, there's two of them growing in there. And then I started watching all like, I'm so excited. It's like, it's not like, oh, what did we do? It's excitement nervous, but it's, you really start thinking about the reality of, oh, we have two babies coming and we're not just going to be caring for one infant, but there's going to be two. And yeah. so, oh my gosh, it's going to be wild, but magical. And I'm just so excited. Very excited for you guys. Wait, can't wait. I know it's gonna be really interesting because yeah, we don't know which one is like who. Which it doesn't matter. They're both they're both our children, mm -hmm. but we don't know which one is which. I mean, I guess we will when they come out. Like maybe we'll, we'll probably instinctually know. But they are one from each of you. Yeah, so one wow. from each of us, but the same egg donor, so they share a mother. Wow. I know, which is crazy. So and we've been in communication with the egg donor, and she's excited and. Um, you know, we're not going to hide it from our kids. They're going to know, like, you know, we're trying to keep everything very open about it, but it is crazy. It's also crazy, like telling people in our family, because I'm like, who do I tell? Because like, do you tell everyone or do you wait? Or like, do people care? Like people I haven't talked to in a long time. I'm like, I don't know. It's like a weird thing. And I'm like, I guess it, but then how do you also, because they're probably also curious, like, wait, two guys, how they have babies. And then you have to, I don't know. Are people still curious about that? Maybe. I feel like it's pretty. I mean, I, I think people know how it happens, but 
it is i don't think they know know how it happens you sure. know it's like a very detailed process that like we didn't even actually understand yeah. which we fully d still don't understand all the elements of it having gone through it ourselves because there's so many moving parts and elements and different things and doctors and nurses i, I would say there's a lot of people ignorant to it because in all reality to represent that you know group of people if you just told me we're having twins i would definitely say you huh? know like how what's the process <laughs> who's right. having the twins so like i do think there's a level of uh, education a lot of people would probably maybe they've heard of terms but the understanding of uh, of the process and really what it's all about mm. so you know i definitely think anyone you tell you know would be interested in that it's cr like this obviously happened a little bit ago but i'm like i can't believe you're both not crying and freaking out right now <laughs> like this is a oh. huge deal <laughs> yes uh there was a lot of tears uh it was also awkward because we like we found out but then we were with the surrogate and also with this doctor and nurse and then so we go to the doctor and nurse's office and you know it's kind of taking a while to do all this stuff the paperwork all that stuff and we're like uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh. and then we finally me and him alone got to the car and that's when we had uh, meltdowns in oh. good meltdowns positive meltdowns mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah because yeah this is a moment we've been waiting for our whole lives yeah i also did find out that some men can breastfeed chest feed it, chest feed chest feed it's an, it's an abnormality that some men can create milk out of their nipples wait really you're <laughs> serious yeah so we need to test it out so rylan go here it's, it's <laughs> like it, it would be like equatable to breast milk <laughs> probably not I don't know. or is it like something different you know it well, they, looks like milk they do have a contraption that guys can put like it's a fake nipple and they put it on themselves and then they put the you know a wire and then it goes to the bottle of milk but that's just like too much for me and i feel like i've seen confusing. that i've confusing. seen that yeah 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 so i don't know what we're gonna do with, as far as that but no we're not, i don't want to shame not. anyone who does that i feel no. like i just made a very mean face <laughs> it's cool i don't know if i'd do it yeah you know yeah, what yeah. i mean oh, you're no. talking about not producing but just having a mechanism like a fake boob and no i feel like it's a little traumatizing no. for the kids. you could have a baby like me that refuses to breastfeed anyway you i would did? i would that gay that gay refuse to breastfeed i also i thought you loved boobs not <laughs> <laughs> not sucking on them no <laughs> wow. but um <laughs> I, I mean i also refuse to come out of my mother's vagina so i'm very gay weird but um that means you loved it what right no he didn't want to meet it he didn't I want refuse to, to get the near vagina. the vagina i refuse to come out you of were it like, can i, I come out of the butt it. I refuse. To <laughs> <laughs> Where, Can I like, come out of door number two. I, what are, What are you basing that off of? Did you just have a super long labor or no, a C-section? C-section baby. Yeah. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I yeah. was too. Wait, so were you, you really? Guys? Yeah. All oh, yeah. I'm back to the boobs. So. <laughs> Wow, was your mom, did she feel like rejected? Like when you weren't sucking on her boob? I don't know, actually. I just know she said she tried and I wouldn't do it. I would only drink out of the bottle. So she was like, all right, this is what wow. it is. So yeah. I heard, so I've been doing a lot of research about everything involving babies. And one thing I found out about, have you guys heard of, probably not, but <laughs> it'd be weird if you did, but it's called the letdown, which when women are breastfeeding, there's like, I would say, I think it's like eight times a day for 30 seconds at random times of the day because they're breastfeeding, they get this crazy overwhelming feeling of like wanting to die. Like so depressed, so miserable. I know I'm like, I have that. And <laughs> from getting their breast fed upon? It's like their body is creating breast milk or something. And then they get the letdown, which is like 30 seconds of intense, like I want to die, I want to die. Nothing matters, everything's horrible. And then it goes away. And I was watching a vlog of this girl talking about it and she filmed one of her letdowns and it was like crazy. And I'm like, how could nobody talks about well, this? Wow. People talk about postpartum in general a right. lot. And they're saying it can last up to, I mean, there. I've heard doctors saying that it can last up to eight years in some women, yeah. which is just wild. Yeah. I, I have a client who is a content creator as well and has a baby and lives really near here, but she talked to me about exactly that, about how she would breastfeed and then would feel like empty and sad and like, yeah, I had heard about that for the first time from her, but that's not every woman, right? That's just... the. It's like a phenomenon called the letdown. So yeah, when you're breastfeeding... Is it every woman? Mm -hmm. Every, oh, every single one? Maybe there's some people that don't, but for the most part, yeah. There's Whoa. a lot of like it's a weird there's a lot of shame brought on upon women themselves or like the baby community about breastfeeding in general and like how long you should do it or if you can't produce enough milk it really is fucked up how much shit we put on people that have babies you know oh, yeah the mommy shaming or daddy shaming in our case <laughs> um they're gonna call you mommy i feel like they will <laughs> the internet's like you're such a fucked up mom <laughs> yeah um no we don't know what's gonna happen but no we're daddies but um yeah so i <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with all that. What's going on with you guys? <laughs> Any updates? Uh, 
Yeah, <laughs> actually, what? you oh. know, this is, and I didn't plan this, but uh, just to throw out there, oh my God. I actually, by the time this comes out, no. I've been working on a project. Oh. If you I thought follow you were going to say Sandy's oh. No, I wish. Oh. I wish. It's happening right now? No, but uh, we, I am birthing a project, <laughs> and uh, by the time this comes out, Ironically, it's called Animal Planet. Ooh. It's very, it's music. Me and a buddy of mine, Eddie Booz, are making. Uh, all the songs are conspiratory, all the topics. So, you know, that's something I've been working on. I want to share with everybody. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some clips. But it's come out right now. Okay. So check it out. That's also crazy that I put you yeah. in KK Slider iconic. I know, that's what I'm yeah. saying. When you did this, I was like, wow. wow. And it's, it's almost like I was going to forget and I needed all the reminders I could. Yes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so uh, check it out. That's Chris, so cool. How, like, what's yeah. going on in your life? We have babies, a music project. It's going, this is where it all goes downhill. I have nothing <laughs> in my, no, no. Uh, literally all that I do is work. I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, the only kind of thing is I did for many reasons, but partially inspired by your wife, your <laughs> lovely lady, um, finally filmed like a first video for a film for YouTube, but, nice, dude. but I decided I hate it. Oh, oh my gosh, Chris, get <laughs> no out way. of your own way. And now I may not. Wait, what was the video about? Uh, it was just me like sitting down and talking and me like, because I used to make videos for fun all the time for, yeah. for like years and you know, inspired that in a lot of ways. Um, but <laughs> truly, but um, I don't know. It's we- it was like weird, but it was very fun. Like the process of making something just for fun, not for like, a, like for work was really nice and freeing and fun. But then I hated the video <laughs> and then I'm like, should I not do this? I don't know. What did but- you hate about it? Everything I hate, <laughs> like the visual, the content. The all visual of it. is my face, so yes, I hate it. <laughs> just gotta uh, get used no, to I, that. I also don't know what I want to do. I don't know, or if I want to make stuff. I just miss being creative. Right. I don't here's know. what I would say. You should just post it because we're all gonna die, and <laughs> at the end of the day, who cares? And everybody's gonna love it because they Word. love you, and we're all gonna uh, be so excited for you to do it and proud of you. <laughs> Sandy did it. Yes. I think you should do it. And then also, like, who know, Who cares if you don't know exactly what you're planning to do? I think that'll naturally start happening, and you'll start getting ideas and random fun things. And um, I think you should just post it. Thank, thank you for that. Right now. <laughs> that was yeah, really nice. Put it public right now. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't, I don't no, think I can. Everybody wants you to post it because we all want to follow your journey. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I'm excited for That's you. I'm nice. happy that you're filming because I think you should. Because that, yeah. It would be thank a lost you. opportunity if you don't because you know how. I also just don't have time, but I don't know. I want to. I want to be creative. Well, you obviously have time. You did it. You just hated it. Post it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Post okay. It. Do right. it. Um, okay. Well, we're going to take a quick little break. What is going on I with don't, this? I don't know. I, we're a mess. We'll see you guys in a minute. There's a lot happening. Conspiracy stuff. <laughs> um, and uh, ooh, some really good snack hacks. Thanks, so God. Stay right there. Yes. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show, but I'm so excited to give some love to our sponsor, Display. Okay, don't go anywhere. I have some displays to show you. Okay, so I had them send me, obviously, podcast displays, since I think we have like six or seven different designs. But I also had them send me just like horror movie ones because I love horror movies and I want to show you guys what they have. Obviously, we have this cool scream one which is like a metal mask it's so cool we have this like really artistic donnie darko one which i really love i might put this one in this room and then i love this one this evil dead one this like recording tape i love the color so yeah i'll show you the other ones that we have of like our actual podcast in a second but i just want to show you those because they have way more than just our podcast displays so if you don't already know displate is the one-of-a-kind metal poster where you can display your unique passions so we've talked about them a lot before but i love displates so much because they are magnetic it is so easy to hang up you just wipe the wall put on the magnet and then put your display right wherever you want it. No nails, no messing up the wall, no ripping off the paint. Uh, If you're renting or if you're in an apartment, you can really spice up your walls without affecting them or messing them up. I would have loved to have these when I was a teenager because we weren't allowed to put nails in our walls, which sucked. So yeah, display, saving your bedroom aesthetic. You're welcome. So as you already know, we have our own Shane Dawson podcast. That sounds so weird for me to say that, Shane Dawson podcast, because it's my own name. It's like third person, weird. Let me try that again. We have our own podcast displays. Obviously we have the group shot one, which is just all of us sitting down, but then we have a Chris one German facts with Chris and it has like bears and uh, cute little drawings. We have a cheap tricks with Jared, which is so cute with all the little money drawings. And my favorite, Ryland's recap. And it has cute little purple drawings in the background of like movie cameras and Hollywood things. And then we have, <laughs> please draw a dick on that. Don't, don't, don't. Well, 
if you're of age. Draw a dick on that. So yes, we have all of our displays on displate.com slash Shane Dawson. And make sure to use Grower at checkout because they're giving you guys some big discounts. Let me explain. If you buy one to two designs, you get 20% off. And if you buy three or more designs, you get 30% off. Also, they ship worldwide very fast between four and five days. And they're eco-friendly. So every design sold, they will plant one tree. So go to displate.com slash Shane Dawson. Use code Grower for your percentages off. And yeah, send a picture uh, of you with our displays in your room or something to Shane Dawson Podcast stuff at gmail.com because we want to see them. All right, enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, so we're back. Sorry, I took off my Tom Nook head. Oh, like, fuck it was, you. It was too hot. I couldn't do it. Ooh, although I did realize I got myself another costume. A crown? Yes, a billionaire. Because in Animal wow. Crossing, it doesn't fit though on my, over my thing. But in Animal Crossing, um, you can become a billionaire and that's when you get all the bells. So I'm a billionaire, but it doesn't really work. Why don't you pull out what's in the sack? <laughs> I always empty my sack before a show. <laughs> um, okay, uh, now is my favorite part of the show where we talk to you guys. And yes. uh, we have voicemails, we have emails. And we have one of the craziest things ever. Oh my God, sorry, I just forgot. Now I just remembered. This is crazy. You're going to be so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, we have a celebrity encounter. Okay, we'll get what? to it. What? I know, I know, I know. We'll get to it. Okay, so first, this is from <laughs> this is from Heaven. She sent us an email. She says, Heaven? Me fucking blue balls, bro. <laughs> what are you doing to me? I'm still waiting on our AI picks. Yeah, well, it's coming. Um, okay, so Heaven said, Growers over showers any day. Love you guys. And here's a picture of her just sporting the grower hoodie in public. I know. We She's love you, cool, Heaven. dude. She's Bye. really cool. You're super cool. Yeah, Shout out to you. Shout out to Heaven. Um, okay. Uh, Erica, she said that... Uh, oh, her name is Heaven. Yeah. I thought she was describing Heaven as like being with the grower. It's Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw it, that's what I thought it meant. Erica, she, <laughs> she said she's been dealing with body dysmorphia and this grower hoodie has helped her and that she feels really comfortable in it. And um, yeah, this is dude. her hanging out in front of her car. Look at that big old Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> flexing with the Stanley. Dude. And look how cute she looks. She looks so pretty. Look at her flexing by the Jeep with the wow. Stanley. What a queen. fucking queen. I love her yeah. tattoos. Queens only. Queen. Um, okay. This is from Jill. This is crazy. Okay. So Jill said she loves the show. She wants to send us a love. And she said that her boyfriend's cousin is Matt LeBlanc. And she what? is now showing Matt LeBlanc our podcast. No. What? Here is a picture of uh, him and Matt LeBlanc. Are you fucking no. kidding me? What? I know. I know. I fucking know. Matt. 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 Baby. If there's any chance in hell that you are still watching this show, or if you ever watched it again, I hope you clicked on this episode. He left, right? <laughs> he saw this and he was like, what happened to Phoebe? Matt. Um, he's loving it. Matt. Joey's our favorite character. We love you so much. We love friends. We love everything you've ever been in. Please. How you doing? Even. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever do that good again. That was really good. He needs to come here and show me how to do it properly. Listen, we're not those type of people. We don't care about celebrities. We don't try to get not at all on the show. Nobody wants to come on the show, anyway. <laughs> but if you even just want to call in, like we love you so much. So shout out Matt LeBlanc. We wow. love you. That is so cool. I know. Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> wow. That's I, like a big celebrity. Big. 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 Very a cute it. picture. Matt LeBlanc, yeah, he's an icon. It's kind of disrespectful to call him a big celebrity. He, he's an icon, like you're saying. He's, he's, a, he's a legend. I got yeah. legend. He's fucking yeah. Joey. Thank yep. you. You know, well, he's, he's not more Joey. Than that. He's more than that. But, I mean, he gave the world Joey. I know. Matt LeBlanc. He this did. man is a legend. A it's fucking true. icon. Wow. Um. Okay, so thank you so much, Jill, for letting us know about that. Uh, Let okay. us know if he made it through an app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? There's no way, but, you know. He, can, he listens know. to every episode in the car. That would be crazy. What if he's a grower? He's our king. Wow. He would be. He would. I always knew it. <laughs> now you're Chandler's just labeling, the shower. Now you're labeling 100%. him. For sure. 100%. I'm uh, shook. So this is from Marley. She said, hello, growers and showers. Shout out. She said she's been watching since she was 10 and that we mean so much to her. And she uh, got her boyfriend a grower. <laughs> <laughs> should, that should be a trend. No way, that has to be a new hot trend. And she filmed his reaction. So let's watch <laughs> yes. it together. Oh. Look how excited no. he is. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh my he's god. He's laughing. I know, but he's like, oh my god. And she's so uncomfortable. This wait, this is not working. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, girl. Oh my god. I can't believe she sent it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
My favorite video I've almost it. ever seen. Wow. Wow. God, that was fucking amazing. Wow. Jared is Thank right. You, that Marley. needs to be a TikTok trend. Can you imagine everyone yes. giving them? It should like, be. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that was fucking insane. Wow. Thank you, Marley. Okay. Voicemails. We still don't have a name for this segment. It's been six months and we still don't have a name. Uh, okay. I'm just going to say I haven't heard these voicemails yet, but I do know that one of them is uh, really intense. That's all I've been told. Nice. So here we go. Hey, Shane. Hey, guys. Love the podcast. Um, I just wanted to get some advice. Um, I had a, um, a weird intuition that my boyfriend was texting um, other girls and, um, like, DMing girls on Instagram. So I made a fake account, and I was messaging him um, as, like, a, another girl, a different girl. And I've been texting him as this other girl for about a month now, and oh. he wants to meet up with this girl and stuff like that. So just give me advice. I don't, I don't really know what to do. I mean, dump his and Obviously. Yeah. This turned out well, to be true, but give me advice. How do I end this, or how do I finish it? So she, finish needs, to, it. she needs to get a grower hoodie, <laughs> right? <laughs> and set a meetup at, like, a Starbucks or something. <laughs> And then surprise him with it and say, I'm Vicky, bitch, or whoever the name is, <laughs> and and send it in. Oh. She obviously got to dump this okay. fucker. I mean, Hold obviously, yeah. she knows Hold this. On. First of all, thank you for calling in. We're going to give you advice, but I have a lot of questions. I wish I could talk to you right now. Uh, first of all, she's been talking to him for a month as another person. That's interesting. Heartbreaking. She's getting something out of this. Do you think it's she likes reconnecting with him, or is this a kink? Well, how much will he reveal that maybe she doesn't? I understand she's probably far in it, and the thing that sucks about this is her feelings are probably very hurt. If she can separate that from herself, how iconic would it be if she set a meet up with him and she's the one sitting there? I mean, that is so toxic, but I'd watch <laughs> And then you the break up with it. it. Watch you say goodbye. Out. It's the breakup. It's pretty much catfish. <laughs> it's very much 50% catfish. of the time. Um, but it's like, you fucking asshole. You should be calling yeah. catfish because that should be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very yeah, good. I mean, catfishing my a lot boyfriend. of opportunities, no, okay. but but I mean, I mean, yeah, this, this is it's overall kind of sad. Uh, maybe she doesn't want to get the ruse up, you know. Maybe she's trying to figure out what to do with this character that she's playing online. But uh, obviously, separate yourself as soon as possible. Like this isn't somebody that would help you in any way unless you're into this kind of shit and you're like wanting to be open relationship with somebody. This is not positive for your life for her to go to those extremes of like feeling the need of making an account and feeling like she probably wanted proof or like maybe she had an intuition but didn't have something tangible yeah. proof that he's cheating or is a cheater and and he is <laughs> and you know yeah. that now and I'll just break up them end it don't yeah. cause any more drama or toxicity just end it right now and i'd don't burn tell the house this. down and fucking kill him too <laughs> i don't like no i can't take the high road and just be like you're cheating on me and talking to the fake account no fucking confront the motherfucker i would there's no but way why there, why what's the point either he okay you what you want you don't want him to apologize because it's not real uh what you want to if you don't want to stay with him which you don't what's the point of that causing a big blow up and i don't think it's a big fight? blow up it's just you're on your way out and you're like you're a fucking asshole print them put them on the table and say goodbye but if he's doing this he's the type of person who doesn't really care about that i know but she's still she's done this for a month because she's obviously her feelings are hurt she still loves this asshole i know we'll find you a new person that's not going to do this to you um we should start a dating service there's a grower out there for you yes growers would never do this fuck <laughs> no never come on oh my god they hang on to the one they got super show or move yeah I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you that's yeah it's horrible it's horrible okay. you know um, all right well keep us updated let us know what happens and we're sending you love okay here's another one what up it's lucas aka big l and um there's this jewish girl in my school and she's such a baddie you know like I and, love um, Lucas. I don't know how to make a move on her. I need some advice. Uh, she's like a theater kid and stuff, so I feel like it might be easier than a regular kid. <laughs> but, you know, I need help, man. <laughs> First of all, totally right. Lucas, totally I right. judged you early, but maybe, you know. She's, you know, a, she's the theater baddie. fair to say about theater kids. Very fair. I was a uh, theater kid. But he I also a called her a baddie. So he she's did. Like a theater baddie. She, no, she's a theater baddie for sure. I When I was in theater, I had, you know, my friends and we were all in theater. And one of the girls that I was really close to, like, she was a baddie for sure. And she also was, like, playing all the theater boys against <gasps> each other. You got to watch out for these theater girls. They are smart. They're good actresses. They bring oh. out the tears. They're good at showing fake emotion. Like, you 
got to be careful, Lucas, because she's a baddie, but she could turn. What was the question? <laughs> How is he going to approach this baddie? Right, right, right. Okay, uh, I, I, Lucas, from my perspective, man, there's a lot of books you could read on it, but you just got to be very honest. Most people aren't honest these days, and it throws people off enough and have a genuine moment with you to say, look, I've been admiring you. I think that you're very beautiful, and I'd love just to get to know you better. Yes. You know, something like that, because at a minimal level, you're going to be genuine, and then you don't have to like put too much pressure in the moment, okay. and it works. I have an idea, but it's probably toxic. <laughs> okay, you should make a fake account. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How? Do <laughs> uh, no, no, no. You should prepare a monologue from like a really romantic movie. And like, because he doesn't sound like a theater kid, right? He's kind of oh. like a, yeah, yo, my name's Lucas. So, I don't, sorry, was that a, inappropriate? That's how he no, that's how he said, yo, it's Big L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Big that's O, Big O. Big O. Is she a baddie. Yeah. So, oh. So, what he should do, because this is very against type for him, he should like, you know, rock in and like she's sitting at lunch or whatever and she's talking to her theater kids. And then he's just like, to be or not to be. That <gasps> is the question. And then he should do a whole monologue. And what if like he's get bad? No, what if get he's bad? Out. No, but what if he's so good? And he gets a tear out. Because that happens. Like sometimes like people like rappers will start acting and you're like, oh, this is gonna be bad. And then they win a fucking Oscar. But then is he but then is he the comp? Oh, to the do the theater kids want to be with a better act? What if he's so oh. good? And she's all like, I hate him. No. He sucks. He'll be covered. <laughs> no, here's the thing. He'll be covered in baddies because all the other uh, theater baddies are going to want him. So, dude, you're you're, lead, you're teaching the horse how to drink water <laughs> is what you're doing, right? Yes. I got you. Wow. That's what you should do. Prepare a monologue and fucking crush it. And then have the whole school watching. And then everybody's just Ooh. getting into it. Oh, my God. I got anxiety. Film it. And send it to us. I yes. like Jared's bad advice. Ne bad netic. Be a little vulnerable. Put yourself out there. Complimentary. Well, yeah. how do you? Okay, quick question, Chris. Um, uh, because we're all boring and in relationships forever. Um, how do you... Must be nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Continue. You're still in a relationship? Uh, not for a long time. You said forever. Oh, my God. You got scared because you said not for a long time. And I'm like, is it ending? What's no, happening? No, it's just new. Um, but, so how do you, like with your current boyfriend, how did you make a move? Or did you say something? Or did you say, like, I like you? And well, that's a weird... It's not a good representation of, like, a normal... Because we didn't, like, meet out in public right. or But whatever. it turned from friend to something more. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't have any, like, great advice on that. I, I'm, like, not cool or like smooth in that way at all but i think in general for me it's always just worked to just be very much myself and mm -hmm. and uh and if they either like me for me or don't and i think in general that's not bad advice i think you just gave the best advice yes don't worry about being cool and smooth just be yourself okay i still like the monologue thing but yes <laughs> oh no I definitely <laughs> but you could be like you a baddie from the moment i saw you you had me oh! you know what I mean? I'm just saying, Lucas, <laughs> Lucas, for a very low price, I will write the whole song for you. Oh my God. For a very low price. You just gave me the big O. That was amazing. Oh. Well, oh my God. It's like Hamilton. His monologue can be like a yes. half rap, half like. Okay. We're all wow. on board. That now. was so cool. That was really good. Definitely record um, it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, sorry to interrupt the show again, but I'm so excited to talk about Hair Story. Don't go anywhere, please. Let me show you something because I've talked about Hair Story a few times before and I know it probably seems fake because I'm so excited about it. But let me just tell you, I have been selling this to people in my real life. Like I, I literally emailed two people that I know and I was like, hey, you might want to get Hair Story. I should have given them the code. I don't think I did. Yikes, what an asshole. Anyways, two different people I know I emailed and I was like, you need to try this because it has changed my hair. I'm not exaggerating, I swear. So for those of you who don't know yet, Hair Story makes amazing products. And the one thing they make that I'm so obsessed with is their new wash. It cleans, conditions, detangles, and restores your hair. It's not like a shampoo or a conditioner or anything with harsh chemicals in it. You only use new wash. You don't have to go through all those steps. And it's so good for your hair and it makes your hair like a whole new head. <laughs> There's probably a better way to explain that, but you get what I mean. I've shown you guys results before of my hair before and after. My hair right now, I cleaned it a couple days ago. It's like soft. It's not too crazy oily and it's so easy to style. Like, I'm not just saying this. I don't talk about stuff like this. Like, this is my shit. I can I cuss on this? I don't know if I can, but this is my shit. Also, one thing I'm really excited about that I did not know they had. So I went online and I was looking on their site and I ordered a new bottle and I ordered this bottle because they have obviously the new wash comes in like this cute like milk bag thingy. But if you want to try something different, they have this really cool bottle that says new wash on it. It looks very like clean and aesthetic and you just transfer it into there and then you use the bottle. And then when you run out, you just buy a new packet, you put it in the bottle, very eco-friendly and just very cool. If you have not tried it yet, this is not just me saying this because they're sponsoring the show. This is 
me saying this as somebody who like really cares <laughs> about my hair, but also helping other people with their hair because it will change your life. Like I cannot, I just got off a call with somebody that I work with and they were like, does it really work? And I was like, I will buy you some. Like it works, you have to try it. So if you haven't tried it yet, please go try it now. Go to hairstory.com to get exclusive pricings and up to 20% savings when you purchase a subscription to New Wash. So go check it out. Trust me, you will thank me. And if you have used it or if you start using it, send me your results. Take some pictures of your hair and send it to Shane Dawson Podcast stuff at gmail.com so I can show your results because I want people to know this is real. It's not a scheme. I'm probably selling this too hard and they're probably going to be like, chill. <laughs> but I really do want you guys to try it. All right. Enjoy the rest of the show and uh, enjoy your hair. I need to work on that. So I have a new game idea and this involves uh, interaction with the viewers. So I heard this Ooh. myth. Yes, and we're gonna see if it's true or not. It's called the 7-Eleven rule. Don't get excited, it's not about 7-Eleven. <laughs> I was thinking we're gonna fly in Slurpees. <laughs> Darn it. Um, okay, so there is a uh, myth, but also it's kind of real, that your first impression of somebody, right? Like a total stranger, you make in the first seven seconds of meeting them, you make it. 11 assumptions instantly. Wow. Your brain makes 11 assumptions without you even trying, right? Mm. And I was like, this sounds like bullshit, right? So I read the 11 um, assumptions. You make assumptions about their education level, economic level, their uh, believability or honesty, their trustworthiness, their level of sophistication, their gender, their level of success, their political background, their religious background, ethnic background, and their sexual desirability. Wow. You make all of those instantly, Whoa. which I thought was bullshit, but I tried it. I just Googled a random picture of a woman and I looked at it for seven seconds, timed it, and then I looked at this list and I had an answer for all of them. So Whoa. I asked you guys at home, <laughs> those that are over 18 to send us pictures and we have a few ready <gasps> this could work just dangerous we could lose that. some viewers <laughs> this no, is feeling like an hour-long segment <laughs> i love this I now they're, are, they're all on board so everybody's agreed to this so we're going to show a picture and then we're going to have seven seconds to look at it and then i'm going to go through the list and we're all going to answer what we think and then mm. i have them fill out the answers the true wow. answers and we're going to see if this is real and if we're right and if we're psychics Whoa, is this dangerous? Are we just judging people? <laughs> like yes. <this> kind <laughs> of, that's for survival we've had to for millennial. You yes. know what I mean? This yeah. is just an instinct. So this is very fascinating. I'm very excited to see how this goes. Um, okay, first picture. Here we go. Okay. Oh, crying. Damn, Julie, you just kind of dirty with the crying though. Okay, wait, don't answer yet. Don't answer yet. <laughs> seven seconds. So everybody looked for seven seconds. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? So let's go through the list. Okay, education level. I think she's in college. I think she's in college. Junior college. Yeah, college sounds like right. Like early college, I think. <laughs> I, I don't mean it like less than college. Like she's early in her college career. Okay, got it. Um, okay, economic level. Well, she's in college, so... But like, what would she grow up in? I, I'm going middle class. Yeah, yeah me too. She had like a really nice jacket. So maybe, I don't know. Ooh. I don't know, maybe not. I'm mid, saying mid, middle mid, class. Mid, upper middle? Upper middle. <laughs> Perceived credibility, believability, and honesty. This is a weird question for someone to answer about themselves, though. I'd give her a 7 but out of 10. 7 out of 10, right? Yeah. I have a thought. Well, she's. I instantly, and this is Julia, we love you, right? We love that you're a viewer. I don't want to shit on you. But people who take pictures of themselves crying, I've done it a couple times before, like when I'm editing something, it makes me cry, and I want to show it, like, how emotionally invested I am in what I'm making, whatever. But, like, people who have, like, a lot of pictures of them crying, to me, there's a little something off about it. Cause, like, why are you taking pictures of that? Is it to send to somebody to get them to, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of girls do this. That's true. Maybe it's a girl thing. Maybe it's a girl thing <laughs> that we just don't understand. I'm knocking her down a couple points for that, for the crime. Well, that's why I gave her the seven out of 10. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the three high, points dude. were because. Seven out of 10. Well, the high. three points are because she was crying. I felt a little manipulated by the crying. Like she could have sent us any picture. I'm at a 5.3 at best. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we just lost a viewer. <laughs> Julia, no! don't leave. I don't know. I don't even understand. What the, okay, how credible is she to what? Like, like what I, do I believe her? Yeah. In anything um, she tells you. I give her a six then. You're right. Okay, I'm being rude. Six. All right. Uh, trustworthiness, kind of the same thing. I weirdly trust her, though. Uh, yeah, I trust her. her. 10 out of 10. I'll give her an eight out of 10 with trust. I don't know about her friends, though, that she talks to. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I trust her six and a yeah. half. This is just a problem in my life. I'm very trust naive, everybody. and I feel like I trust everybody. Right. 
<laughs> <laughs> okay. Until they ruined my trust. Level of sophistication. I'm saying she's very sophisticated. She seems very sophisticated. Very sophisticated. I feel it. I think she's sophisticated, but she likes fart jokes. <laughs> you know, she's a fun one. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Por que no los dos? Um, mm -hmm. Farties. Fartos. <laughs> Um, gender woman. Uh, level of success. I'm going to say she, I think she's still in college mm -hmm. and I think she, but I think her parents pay for things and she doesn't have a job. That was very judgy. <laughs> I think she has a little part time gig. That's what I feel. I think she has a little part time gig. I think, but even if she does, she doesn't need it. What it's not like one of the, like, you don't, ha it's not an hourly gig. It's like part time okay. somewhere. Um, okay. Political background. Democrat. Democrat. <laughs> Instantly liberal. Definitely. Mm. Secretly likes him. <laughs> I think she's. I think she's. Uh, Her dad likes libertarian. Trump. Interesting choice. I don't know. I don't. I'm just gonna say Republican. I don't know. Wow. That's a big fucking. <laughs> but maybe you're right. <laughs> Religious background. I don't know why, but I'm going Christian. I, I was thinking it, that too. It doesn't really line up with everything else we said, but for some reason, I think she's Christian. Well, yeah, I said her dad likes Trump. <laughs> I, w I would say Christian, you know, it's, it's an easy one. Mm -hmm. It's a majority. Ethnic background, white as fuck. White. Russian. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a choice. Uh, okay, last one is, this one is going to get us in trouble. It's pervy. But she's of age, um, and we also love her, and we don't want her to stop watching. So, uh, sexual or... Uh, social desirability so like you know smash her past basically this is dark i'm not gonna smash her past necessarily but she a baddie she a baddie right <laughs> i mean i don't i'm baddie, not gonna you baddie. know she's a very attractive girl yes. you know you know she's for me beautiful. it's it doesn't i don't get like sexual energy from somebody of a picture of somebody crying here's what know? i will say she gives me she she is pretty and I think she could get a lot of attention, but she purposely makes herself not like she's wearing a hoodie and she like I feel like she's not um confident yet. And like when she's in her twenties, oh batty, 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 and she's gonna be pushing all these guys away. But right now she's still a little young and she's a little like, I don't wanna do that right mm -hmm. now. And she's in college. So that's how I feel. She's like a she's like in cheese all that where they took the glasses off and then it was like, <laughs> whoa. You know? Exactly. She's holding herself back a little bit. Um, okay, so we have the answers. This is crazy. Why was, this is so crazy? Okay, okay. so here we go. Julia. So that was her. Oh my God. Hello, she's, Julia. She's sorry. We just put the picture back. Up. Oh, I think she fucks. She's rich. <laughs> I changed my answers back. <laughs> That's an ostrich skin she feather got, fucking turd. She got AirPod Maxes. And then, oh, oh she is upper fuck. middle class. Look at her jacket with the fucking. Oh, she's and rich. she fucks. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I got I got some things wrong. And I think on her lip, I think she had just gotten lip injections. Rich, rich. Rich, rich as fuck. Okay, sorry. Okay, education level. She said she's in secondary school. What does that mean? College. Oh, okay. So we're all right. Economic level. She said, sorry, I'm not too sure how to answer this because I'm unemployed and my husband supports me. Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, Hold on. We're kind of half right. She we thought gets, it was her parents. We thought it was her parents, but it's her husband. Okay. So she's probably a little older than we thought. Married, um, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe she's Mormon. Okay. Uh, number three, credibility. Oh, this is crazy. This is fucking crazy. What? She gave herself a seven out of ten. Oh! <laughs> right away. She said, I think that's going to be a common answer. She said, "Sometimes I hear crazy things. I believe it right away, and I start telling everyone as if I know it's a fact." LMAO. Okay. Oh, uh, now I get what credibility. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That Believability. Makes more sense. She said seven out of ten. She said, "I have some crazy stories that people think I made up, but that's just because my life has a bunch of unfortunate events." And for competence, I guess that was one of them. She put six out of ten. So she gave herself like a seven to six out of ten on all of them, which is kind of what we said. Mm -hmm. Fair. Oh, uh, oh, honesty. She gave herself an eight out of ten. She said, "A little white lie once in a while won't hurt anyone if it's for a good reason." How do we know she's being honest about the eight out of ten? You really don't. <laughs> For trustworthiness, she gave herself an 8 out of 10. I think that's what I gave her. She said, I feel like I'm a pretty trustworthy, but if the gossip is too juicy, I may have to spill it to that's my That's why I said it depends on her friends. Because I knew she spilled tea, dude. Yes, I knew it. 100%. Oh. Orientation. She's straight. Did we even? But she's kissed a girl. She's she kissed a girl, but she's it. not going to marry a girl. We right know right. it. But I feel like a lot of girls have kissed other girls. Hmm. That's like a Why pretty not? common girl thing. Level of success. She gave herself a five out of ten because her goals have drastically changed this year, and she had to start from scratch. Did we say five out of ten? That's what I, I thought. For that. success, I don't remember. We mm. should be writing it on our own because I don't. Remember. I think we just said she's in college. I think we she works a part-time um, job. Okay, politics. She said, "I'm not too into Western politics. Well, mm. Very sophisticated, <laughs> um, but I am." From Russia? Shut oh, up, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Josh. Knew Jared. it. Jared. Jared. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I can hear her accent. I'm telling you, I hear accents. Oh my God. She said, wow. I am from Russia. My biggest dream is for Russia to become a free country, sad face. Whoa. I can go on about this for hours, to be honest. Um, so she is political, but she's fucking Russian. That is crazy you called it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Religious. She said, I was raised as a Russian Orthodox, which are considered Christian. So oh. we all got it. She's white. Russian and maybe some other mixes. I'm not sure because I was adopted as a baby. Wow. Didn't expect that. I was thinking that. <laughs> okay, the last one is uh, her sexual desirability. She said, I've been straight my whole life, but sometimes when I get drunk, I have thoughts about sleeping with a woman. So does that make me fully straight? Question mark. And I only enjoy lesbian porn mostly. I have no idea. I think that's typical she with straight that women. Bit. I was going to say, like a lot of straight women in my life would like say lesbian exactly that. Porn, you yeah. got... Everything that was fucking crazy. The, Jared, I kissed Jared. a girl and I liked That's it. So I do. <laughs> Incredible. You know? Jared won. When you grow <laughs> up, not trusting anybody, you learn how to really read people. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, that was luck. Hey, okay, shout out to our sponsor today, SeatGeek. So you guys already know what SeatGeek is. I'll explain it if you don't, but I'm sure you do. It's a number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. They have so many summer concerts going on. I mean, they have events for everything, not just concerts. Pretty much anything you can get a ticket to, they have. But for summer concerts, they have Blink-182, Drake, Taylor Swift, Paramore. Pretty much anybody you could think of that's on tour right now is on SeatGeek. And the cool thing they do that we've talked about before is they rate tickets from one to 10. So if you go on and you click on a concert, you can look at all the seats and all the little green dots, those are good deals. All the red dots, not so good. My favorite game to play, obviously I've talked about this before, is to go to all the red dots and see how expensive they are, just because I'm like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. Like the amount of money people are charging for tickets is wild. But thankfully SeatGeek lets you know that that's stupid and you should click on those green dots. Also, every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. So if you're planning on going to a concert anytime soon, especially right now with so many going on in the summer, you really should use SeatGeek. Go to the description. I'll put it in the link below. And when you use code GROWER, they are going to give you guys $20 off of your tickets. That's $20 off of your first purchase with code GROWER. Trust me, Ryland has used them. I know so many people that have used them. They are a great app, so easy to work with, and just very smart because you can get ripped off when you're buying tickets online all the time. And thankfully, SeatGeek helps prevent that. All right, enjoy your concert and enjoy the rest of the show. That was stupid. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, I have a food hack. So this is a tiktok -y food hack, and this is from Andy's Life. And Andy's Life made something that I think might be the biggest game changer of all time. So, Bigger than the fruit roll-up with ice cream? Different, because this okay. is more of a savory option. So you can, you can mix them up. Okay, so I gave everybody a bag of chips. So we all have different. I have Taki, <laughs> you have Lay's, or oh, you have also Blue, Blue Heat. Coffee. So what's the best flavor of all time, except for in ice cream? Sweet and sour. Close. Ranch. <laughs> ranch. Yes. Mustard. So ranch, obviously there's ranch chips, there's ranch flavored things, right? But Andy said, hey, what if you took ranch seasoning and poured it in your bag of chips and shook it up? You could make any chip ranch flavor. I'm gonna ruin the whole bag. No, you can make the whole bag better. Okay. I had <laughs> so open up whichever bag you want. Oh, you want to ranchify. <laughs> I'm going to open this because I don't oh. like him as much as the hot cheetos. This is so sad. No, you guys have to have faith. It's going to be good. <laughs> Andy's life said it's going to be good. He wouldn't lie. TikTok <laughs> never steers me wrong. How many of our TikTok things went wrong? One. None of them. Well. <laughs> I did a lot. So now you close it up. This might be good on Bunyan. Mm. Oh my god. It smells like ranch. It reminds me of when we used to dust crickets at the pet store. This might be a good hack. <laughs> <laughs> this that might be a good hack sentence. to not eat them if they're sitting in the pantry. Alright, ready? Does everybody have theirs? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think. Okay. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like perfectly dusted. Mine are not. Yeah, here we go. Uh, good. Dude, I'm just gonna dust a chip itself, bro. I didn't even taste nothing. Yeah, I think we gotta dust a chip itself. As an avid Takis lover, Takis is my favorite chip. Ranch is my favorite flavor. This is the fucking shit. Oh, dude. You this is the fucking shit. This is so good. With Takis, it works. Oh you, my God. It works with You gotta just dust one lay, dude. You gotta do a solo duster. <laughs> it worked with the Funyuns, Ow. I'll tell you that. I'm one. just gonna dip a Taki straight mm. into it. I gotta dip a Funyun straight in. No, 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 put some straight onto it. Dust it, dust it solo. You could taste it? 
I, okay, I didn't taste, taste it. it. Wow, these are fucking good too. The Lay's. I'm just trying to really make sure that I, I'm getting one with a lot right yeah. now. You look oh, like yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, this worked. Okay, okay this has a lot. <laughs> oh. Wow, if Bunyan's had a mascot, it's you. I was just as skeptical as Ryland, to be honest. And wow. It's good. It's, it's real good. good. I that think it might be good idea. on Hot Cheetos because it might cool it down just a touch. I'll try it because it works. That so was my I'm first ever Taki experience. They're good. Oh, right? what do you think? Dang, I mean, with ranch right in the thing, it's delicious. Delicious. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. This is um, wonderful. Well, hack approved. Thank you, Andy's Life. And I was skeptical. You were. Um, okay, so this be next. Be good on popcorn, too. We have that in the pan for us. Interesting. <laughs> Do you want to try that? Because I have some. That could be good. So we found out recently that you can Postmate popcorn from the movies. <laughs> of course you can. That's it's genius. It's a, a problem. And they put, they put a fucking big tub of butter. So they get, send it to us in like a trash bag. And all sealed up. A luxe trash bag. And then inside, <laughs> look at they have this bottle of butter mm. that you can squirt all over it and shake it up. I would buy it just for that. Okay, do you Life want Life hack, just eat popcorn for the theaters. Maybe, just, maybe <laughs> put some in your hand. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right. I think that's gonna be good. Well, no, the you hot Cheetos? Put, you're not putting it. <laughs> oh, I just wanted a baseline. Just, oh, a, just I, a quick baseline. See it. what it tastes like. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's gonna be so good. It's interesting. Mm, my mouse watering is looking at I don't know if I would want to com combine those two. I'm looking at the hot Cheetos. I've got to have one. Wow. You got to pass that over here. After wow. You, have you may one. want to put more, but yeah, wow. Wow. Like ranch popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. I just kind of want that bottle of butter. <laughs> here you go. You want to squirt? Oh my God. If you put popcorn in your mouth and then squirt this in your mouth, you're my fucking hero. Dude, Matt I have diarrhea for weeks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One time I ate a whole big bucket of really buttery popcorn at the movies when I was like 12. And I came home and I started squirting butter out of my ass. And I took my pants off and I got in the bathtub and I was squirting butter. Like it was like, ah, and it was going on the walls. And mom came in. Do you remember that? And mom was like, I think I do. And she wanted to take me to the doctor because she thought I was broken. I was <laughs> squirting butter out of my ass. Here's the butter. Shame. Perfect. What? I've gotta try this. With hot Cheetos. Wow. Dude, I'm gonna squirt butter in the Takis bag. <laughs> Yuck. The hot Cheetos is the best in the game. I, I really had given up on these, if I'm being honest. Like, I always enjoy it because it's fun, but this works so well. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you so much, Andy's Life. Oh my God. For thank changing you. my life. Thank you, Andy. And ruining mine. <laughs> okay, so now this is more of a conspiracy. Well, welcome to Conspiracy Corner. Hi, welcome back. Because our first conspiracy involves soda. Now this came from Jessica. She said, not really a conspiracy, but kind of. Good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> she said, ginger ale is actually just Sprite with a dash of Coke. I know restaurants that do this when they run out of ginger ale and they'll just put Coke inside of Sprite and nobody notices the difference. So I want to try this. We have ginger ale and we have Sprite and Coke. So we're going to see if that actually tastes like it. I actually have, I know about this hack and it does. It Which should. Is, the thing is, is, restaurants don't have ginger ale at all. They don't run out. This is how they make ginger ale. Like, if you go to a bar and you order a Moscow mule that has ginger beer and they just use ginger ale instead, they'll just do this. Wow. Oh, oh my God. God. Or because I don't, I don't drink. Coke, but... I don't drink. So if I go to the bar, I can't just drink Red Bull all night. All right. So I'll get a ginger ale, and it's usually what they do. So this one's actual ginger so ale? So this pea color do you want is ginger ale. So let's try that. <sighs> Ooh, it does good. taste like Sprite with Coke. It's like watered down Coke. Okay, so now open up your Coke. <laughs> Let me just taste the Sprite a Soda. little. Soda. And take the Sprite, and we're going to mix in, what do you think, like a dollop? That's I put yeah. too much. The Sprite is good. Okay, here we go. They're the fucking same. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why is that shaking me so much? Because you because you never thought of it. Because it's like such a weird combination. Is what it, does that say about Coca-Cola? I know. Is there ginger and Coke? I feel like the ginger ale has a tiny bit more carbonation. I put I'm being too much Coke. We're not judging the carbonation. Flavor though. profile's the same. Yeah. But how does that make sense? I don't know. Because there's no ginger in Coke or Sprite. Is ginger real? <laughs> is ginger ale? Okay, less than 2% of ginger extract. Yeah, not. So that's not, not that much not ginger, that. but it is in there, kind of. Interesting. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to show you guys a picture. This is an optical illusion. And I know you guys are going to be like, we're over it. We don't care anymore. But this one pissed me off because I was looking at it for like two days. And then I finally decided just to Google the trick. So I'm going to show you a picture. So this picture, uh, it says, look at the plates in this picture. 
All of them are turned over. However, there are a few that are not upside down. And the moment you identify those, all the plates ah! will be turned over. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. So look at the plates. They're all like right side oh up. Oh my right? God. I can't. Did you see it? it? Yes. You once, saw it? Yes. For me, it was the one in the center was over. And then I looked out and the bowls was right side up. And then now they're all. Okay. So let me show you because I didn't see it, right? My brain's broken. <laughs> I know. No, I didn't see it either. And then I played around with it. So I Ooh. have it right here and I have it like vertical. So you look at it. They're all right side up, right? Now I'm going to flip it. Wait, now I don't see it. Oh, no, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, look at the two plates that have like the three triangles. Okay, now just look at those. And every time I flip it, do you see them now puffed? Like the triangles inside are puffed? My brain, to my brain, they're all upside down. Now when it looks puffed. Jared, look just at, hold on. You'll like see it in. flip and it makes you want to barf. I want to see it. Okay, <laughs> I zoomed in. Okay, ready? So look at the triangles in, inside. For me, it was more effective when it was the whole puff. Jared, right do you see it? Up. It looks the same to me puffed both times. Oh, you see Except puffed. for, I see puffed. it's weird. Oh, you it, see it, puffed. It's weird. It's like once you look at one and you think it's right side up, they all look right side up. And once you think one's upside down, they all look puffed. You can, I also like to blink and do it. Like, blink, I'm puffed. So, Chris, you know? do you see them right side up or do you see them upside I, down? I see them all upside down puffed. So, you see, I didn't see the puffed until I did this, flip flopped. Uh, I always saw them right side like, up. Like, so if you look at the bottom right, like, rectangular plate and you think about that being right side up, and then you look at the plates with the triangles in it, they look like they're right side up. But then when you look down and you think about it as puffed, they look puffed. So, Chris, that's like what my brain does. Start in the bottom right, Chris. Do you oh, see? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I just did it. Yes. Whoa, wait, did I do Oh, wait, I did it. Whoa, I'm shit. I'm calm. I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God. Just like, is this what Mr. Reese feels like? Oh, my God. Sight? <laughs> Woo! Shane! I know! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm so my happy brain, for you. My brain's, there's hope for me. I know. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Let's look at the dress again. Let's just check. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no! Wow. Okay, so that was crazy. Okay. I have a quick uh, Animal Crossing theory since we're all in Animal Crossing outfits. Okay, this is gonna sound stupid, but actually, it kind of scared me. Okay, so when you're delivered to the island, you're delivered by a character named Cap'n. And Cap'n is modeled after a Kappa. He's like this little turtle guy. Now, what is a Kappa? A Kappa is a mythical Japanese turtle monster that steals children for the laughs. Mm -hmm. Now, in Animal Crossing, a turtle monster guy brings you to the island and then leaves you trapped. Wait a second. Nintendo makes Animal Crossing? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. That oh. changes everything. It does. I've watched hour long videos on Super Mario Brothers. It's crazy. I know people think Super Mario is like a psychopath and that he's running around the Mushroom yeah. Kingdom and killing creatures. And Koopa is actually trying to save the princess because Mario wants to murder her. Oh. And he's like, only a big Koopa could save her. And But no, Mario, he's, a, he's persistent. Okay, wait. But and I we're kinda, helping him. I kind of believe that. Yeah, it's the truth. I love Mario, but I also like kind of secretly hate him because he's like so perfect. <laughs> Are we ever going to see our AI photos? Yes, we're getting to it. Um, okay. <laughs> This was sent by Taylor. Now, I was not gonna put this in because I thought you guys wouldn't care, but this is something I was thinking about recently and I couldn't believe Taylor agrees with me. Have you noticed, and you probably haven't, but have you noticed fast food restaurants have been slowly taking away grilled chicken options? Dude, it's been pissing me off. Thank you. Are you lying? No. <laughs> Wait, really? At Jack in the Box, the only grilled chicken option they have is like a bacon patty melt. Yes, so they started taking them away, right? So McDonald's, they used to have the grilled chicken sandwich and that's what I would get where they had the chicken McShaker or they had the chicken Because nobody McRap. gets them. Nobody goes to fast food and thinks, I want their grilled chicken. Maybe too many people are getting no, to Ryland and may, taking no, the healthier option. Thank you. And no, Weight Watchers, it's less points when you do the grilled chicken option. So thank you. It was can, a, yeah, but if you're, going for fast food like everybody else. No, if you're going for grilled chicken, you're not going to fast food. And if you are going to fast food, you're going to go to who does it the best, which is Chick-fil-A. Controversial. Whatever. <laughs> Controversial. Okay, so let me read your email. So she said, this is a bit of a long shot. No, it's not, Taylor, I believe you. She said, I noticed over the past couple of years how, ch how the cheapest and easiest Ooh. ways to pre-cooked grilled chicken patties have just disappeared. Um, I think it's already a conspiracy that the government or the high ups want the poor to stay poor and unhealthy, but I don't know. My brother and I used to always get pre-cooked frozen chicken patties from Walmart. Me too. Yes, the grilled chicken patties, right? Yes. Chicken yeah. patties? You're gonna relate to this. You're gonna relate. She goes, Already? N now I can't find them fucking anywhere I added the what? bucket. I can only find the expensive fajita sliced grilled chicken in the bags, which I agree. <laughs> When I tried to find grilled chicken at the store, now you have to get the fajita slices and they are expensive and I hate them. All of it sounds uh. like questionable meat to me. No, first off, first <laughs> off, Taylor, 
thank you for your two years of dedication to the topic. Yeah. <laughs> She's been investigating this two years. Yes. Okay. We should hire her. She's the time. expert. She said, then I realized when COVID happened, McDonald's took away the only healthy options off their menus, the grilled chicken Dude, sandwiches. Taylor's going to get herself murdered. <laughs> too much. I know. Taylor, stop. Then she said, now even Sonic has removed their grilled chicken sandwiches from their menus. No. The only other cheap fast food restaurant I have near me is a Wendy's, but it's being rebuilt right now, so I can't see anything on their menu. Uh, I don't think Wendy has anything grilled chicken. Maybe I don't they think do. so. Don't think El Pollo so. Loco is a good option. She said, true. The is only it? place to get any type of grilled chicken is now is more expensive, and it's Chick-fil-A. Is it a conspiracy from the higher-ups that they want poor people to stay poor and unhealthy? I don't know. Carl's Jr. has it, too. Did they take away grilled chicken, or was the grilled chicken they were serving at all these fast food places from the same manufacturer, and that manufacturer got, like, shut down because it was, like, poison? I don't know. But the fucking grilled chicken is gone. Mm. Okay. Well, interesting. You're onto something, Taylor. Okay, this is another uh, sent in conspiracy from Katie. And she, I wasn't going to put this one because it's so random, but it made me laugh. Okay, so Katie said, hey, I saw this on Instagram from JoJo Siwa, and I immediately thought of you. Uh, last year, JoJo started a pop group for six girls and announced their new album. XOMG and Pop. Wow. <laughs> That's really you look like a super fan. <laughs> I go to all their shows. <laughs> I go to all their show. <laughs> What? what? Three. Okay, hold on. What? That is crazy that you didn't know what this is. Do it again. Okay, keep your hand oh, like that. Oh, they're part of the Illuminati. Keep your hand like that. Uh oh. Okay. So in the OMG pop, X. One of the girls pop. is doing that, which is a sign of the Illuminati, because it's six, <laughs> six, six. <laughs> what kind of psychopath are you to say three like three? No, That's Illuminati. a very common in Europe. All European people do this. They talked about it in Glorious Bastards, the Quentin Tarantino movie. A guy gave himself up by doing this. That's how they knew they were, he was American. They shot wow, him. Chris All is German sophisticated. people do this. Wait, so is OMG, oh my God, pop? <laughs> she <laughs> may be just European. Are they German? <laughs> or in the Illuminati. <laughs> Or wow. maybe I'm in the Illuminati. It's German, a lot of yaddy. If anybody's in the Illuminati, it's JoJo. Oh, For sure, definitely. JoJo definitely. would rock into the Illuminati. 100%. I wouldn't wow. be broke if I was in the Illuminati, right? Mm, <laughs> like, true. JoJo, we love you, by the way. JoJo, JoJo's getting a lot of hate recently from Is a lot she? of people. Really? Yeah. And honestly, I think it's because she's in the Illuminati, and that's just something you have to deal with. <laughs> keep and you'll just, get through it. Keep just jojo in. <laughs> keep it going, girl. So, OMG Pop. X in the Illuminati. OMG Pop. Uh, thank you, Katie. Yeah, thank you, Katie. Uh, two minutes. Oh, okay. So, this isn't a conspiracy, but I just want to show you, and we only have a minute left on the card. So, OJ Simpson obviously uh, mur supposedly murdered somebody. Some people think he's uh, innocent. Not guilty, know. right? Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, by a court of law, not... Okay, so watch this clip that just got leaked. It's very good. This is from an old special. Just did you do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Nope. Did not do it. After we finished filming, OJ said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me, and I genuinely was surprised. I think it was his idea of a joke. And this is it. <laughs> oh my god. OJ. Well, first and isn't off it crazy that JoJo is just OJ backwards <laughs> two times? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Oh my god. Wow, that's <laughs> They're all in the fucking Illuminati, dude. No, oh it already no. blew. And my Diet mind. Doc, Diet Mountain Dew is just orange juice concentrate. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, wow. wow for this. It, it, it looked like an office <laughs> sketch. Like how he looked at the camera and was like I mean he wrote a book called If I Did It. It's Talking about how he would have done it. <laughs> and did it differ from the way he did it? OJ's wild for a lot of shit if you just look into him. <laughs> OJ's a wild dude. <laughs> wow. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for are AI pictures. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. Now, really quick, last thing before I show you. This is something I forgot to tell you. So, this is really scary. So, in a lot of people's AI pictures, this random woman has been popping up in all these pictures, and they're calling her a terrifying demon named Loab. <laughs> So imagine if you look just like this lady in real life. <laughs> That's, that'd be fucking horrible. So in all these weird AI pictures, she's just been showing up. So I wonder yeah. if she's going to show up in any of ours. I hope not. It's like I, a curse. I asked for Hillary Duff. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Wow, I'm nervous. Okay. So first is Jared's and oh my God. Wait, what, Jared, what was yours again? A giraffe addicted to drugs in a tuxedo with braces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um I don't see any braces. I don't see any drugs. See That's tuxedo. what I wanted the most. Uh, you can tell. Look at his eyes, he's addicted. The draft in the tuxedo is cute. These that are is like cute. bored ape type art or something. Yeah. 
<laughs> I feel like that I'm is, on drugs looking at it. Wait, they turned a guy, a drug addict, into a giraffe. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. It, but it looks like an ostrich. <laughs> um, okay, interesting. I so, kind of like the one on the bottom middle. That looks just yeah, cool. I, I mean, want that on yeah. a shirt. They're you know pretty I mean? pictures. Uh, Okay. I like them okay. for sure. All right. I'm not scared. Let down. Are they no supposed to be scary? Cool. No Loab? Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Here's the next one. The next one was uh, Tom Nook and Isabel oh, skull fucking. fucking on a pile of money. Um, <laughs> okay. They kept it unpornographic. Why is he so sad with all that money? Because <laughs> <laughs> money doesn't buy you happiness. True. But there is. And is that, that's not money. That's cans of tuna. <laughs> okay. To some people, maybe money. Are those bells? <laughs> oh, maybe that's bells. Okay, this was Hillary Duff and Ryland Adams kissing passionately. <gasps> Wait, I see one. That one's Ryland. Okay, first of all, Hillary looks. That looks bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, why are what, our mouths like? What the hell? What happened? <laughs> That's Loeb. That's, That's Loeb. Loeb. <laughs> Lindsay Loeb. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> kind of looks. The one in the middle, far right, kind of looks like Kelly Clarkson and I. Okay, interesting. You're eating her. Yeah, we're like. But the one under it is pretty good. But it's Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I would say the middle right AI is, is the taking best. over. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. I thought it. I really thought it was taking over. Guess um, not anymore. <laughs> although I do want that one of you eating Hillary Duff's face to be blown up on our house somewhere. It's really good. Um, okay. And the last one was. <laughs> I forgot the last one. What was it? <gasps> Yours, gay right? bears. Uh, gay bears having a pillow fight covered in honey. Look at the Whoa. gay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what? Wait, there's a man making out with an animal. Ooh. With a bear wow. rodent thing. <laughs> wow, that's not what I asked for. I did not ask for a bestiality. These yeah. are beautiful. Wow, they are artistic. What the hell is going on with the lips on that one? <laughs> why are they so bad at, why is AI so yeah. bad at making kisses? They have a hard time yeah. with lips because yeah. it's an emotion thing. Oh. Okay. Um, okay, so now these are the uh, giraffe wearing a tuxedo addicted to drugs as photos. They're worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't look any different. Where are the braces? Where's the They're braces? not good with mouth. They can't do mouth. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Fail. That was kind of a flop. Uh, this was realistic photos of Tom Nook fucking uh, Isabel in the face with money. <laughs> Ooh. I don't see. Well, I don't see any skull fuckery. I don't either. That kind of looks. Whoa, that head is like the top half is missing or something. Uh, the <laughs> that bottom middle one. That it looks like she just got skull fucked. Yeah. yeah. Her eyes are gone because they've been poked out, penetrated. There you go. Wow. That's cute. It's a horror movie. <laughs> That's the one. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Here's the realistic photos of the gay bears. Dude, look at that. Covered in honey. That one has come on his face. <laughs> There's a foot coming out of his chin. Oh my god, what is happening in that oh one? Oh my god. The two guys with an arm coming out of his mouth. What is oh, the fuck that's, is that? That's the scariest thing I've ever seen what the top is right. That? <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. Wow. Is this what AI thinks about us? <laughs> Like, this is what AI sees. Wow. Uh, this is horrifying. Look at that bear. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Kind of. <laughs> that bear is eating that look man's the honey. arm. I like the honey photo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Okay, now here's the images of Hillary Duff. Whoa. Wait, that second one? Wait, oh, the one right oh. there in the middle? That is you and Hillary Duff. I mean, you're eating her face still. <laughs> But it's better. Whoa, the uh, one of you sexually behind her naked? The red carpet one, you guys just sitting in a premiere? These are pretty good. Wait, scroll wow. all the way out again. So the, when it's see. two people just kissing, it's very good at it. Wow. Yeah. You I, start introducing skull fucking and honey and, <laughs> and it gets weird. Yeah, braces yeah, fucked it up completely. Heroin. Wow, us wow. kissing on a red carpet. That Iconic. is cute. <laughs> Couple goals. Well, um, there's our AI pictures. Sorry for the letdown. <laughs> Depending on what you were expecting, I guess. Yeah, right. Yeah. If you had low expectations, then that worked. We killed it. Um, <laughs> well, thank you, AI. At least we're not going to die, because I really did think for a while AI was going to kill us all. And I think we're a little bit far away from that. Just I feel a little better. bit. Yeah, Just a better. couple more years. Sure. Um, well, speaking of things that... Uh, Might not be as great as you think. <laughs> Ryland's recap. Time for a recap. Lights, camera, action. Ryland's recap is a to happen. Oh, yeah. Rylan's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, the boys are dressed 
as Animal Crossing characters. Woo! <laughs> kind of, kind of. Facts, like what else do you want me to say? Uh, hold on to your bell. <laughs> oh, oh, girly. Well, are there robbers in Animal Crossing? I thought it's like a happy place. Except for the Koopas, or what are they called? <laughs> Koppas. Um, I would say uh, you got a really beautiful makeover. <laughs> Shane gives Ryland a beautiful makeover. I'm made of nightmares. <laughs> Matt LeBlanc mm. might be oh. on the show. Oh my gosh, in huge celebrity news, breaking news out of the Shane Dawson podcast, we may have Matt LeBlanc as a five minute watcher of our show. Maybe he's even seen a whole episode. Ooh, Ooh we're uh, growing on him. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he's gonna be a future guest. <gasps> I don't know if I can handle that. Oh. You gotta speak it into existence. <laughs> Where's the grilled chicken? What? Uh, <laughs> oh, conspiracy. Where's all the grilled <laughs> chicken going? Who, who was it? Uh, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. Taylor's curious about where all the grilled chicken in America has gone. The affordable options, that is. And none of us could tell you. Well, we can. Oh, Kristen breastfeed. Oh, <laughs> It's not like accusation. Gay news, Chris <laughs> has always been gay. You guys are having babies. Oh my gosh, oh. we're having babies, twins. In the biggest news of the night, Shane and Ryland are having twins. Oh, oh, um, let's make it trending. Uh, girls giving oh. their boyfriends grower merch. Oh, in a new tr trend alert. <laughs> The girls are giving their boyfriends grower merch. Oh, oh uh, we guessed 11 things about uh, Julia. In seven seconds, the boys guessed 11 accurate things about Julia. All you fuckers judging everyone out there, they're probably accurate. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just wanted to correct myself really quick. I was told that actually this may be how your beaten people hold up three fingers, and so I may just be in the Illuminati. I don't know why. I, I think you're that. just in the Illuminati. <laughs> in Illuminati ass bitch. <laughs> Okay, Isabel's going rogue. Dude, this is keep going. What else? Oh yeah, uh, Ryland's gone. Ranch dressing hack, dude. Oh my gosh! In the best, well, in the second best TikTok hack. Hack. Wow. In the second best TikTok hack of the Shane Dawson podcast history. Put the ranch. What's it called? Ranch flavor. What is seasoning. it? I don't know what it is. Ranch seasoning. Put Isabel. Hidden Valley ranch seasoning. Testing. Wow, dressing and dip mix on all of your potato chips. <laughs> Tasty good on all of them. Not one was a flop. I'm not kidding. Although I yeah. can't speak, mm. delicious. Um, oh, AI's taking over, except they're really bad at making pictures of skull fucking. Just when we thought AI was going to ruin our lives, guess what? They're not turning out like we thought they would. AI's maybe homophobic based on the oh. <laughs> OJ is wild, dude. Stabbing <laughs> the reporter, remember? Yeah. OJ Simpson in OJ Simpson news. In OJ Simpson news, he be wild. Fake stabbing reporters all over the place years and years ago, although not found guilty by a court of law. Uh, well, thank you so much, Isabel. Wait, I had something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? <laughs> uh, <laughs> lost it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to keep going. In like restaurants. No, 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 no. We've discovered today that in restaurants, ginger ale is just Sprite with a touch of Coke. And with that, we leave you today. <laughs> okay. I can't tell when your eyes All are right, open you guys, or that's it for today's episode of the Shane Dawson Podcast. Make, you, make sure you're listening and watching on all audio and YouTube platforms. Follow us all on social media and make sure you're here in two weeks when we post another episode. All right. Well, you guys go. What a fucking mess. And I loved every Sorry. moment of My it. My makeup is like peeling off. It's, it's, like, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got to go shower. You look pretty. Let me get out of here. You look beautiful. Um, all right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed whatever the fuck that was. Because um, I know we did. And I love being here with all of you. And soon our twins. They won't be in it, but you know what I mean. Um, all right, see you guys next time. Bye. Play us out, KK. <laughs> 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 <laughs>